The uncanny valley is the theory that real humans are comfortable and have a natural liking for human-like robots up until a certain point. The evolution of humanoid movements and behaviors in robots are widely accepted, but when the objects become nearly identical to humans, those cozy feelings quickly turn to discomfort, unease, or even disgust, all because the object seems too human-like. The term Uncanny Valley was first introduced by Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori back in 1970. But don't worry, we're not bringing you those scary campfire tales about human-like robots that'll send shivers down your spine in this week's Halloween edition. No, we're spotlighting innovative engineers who are pushing the envelope. And these aren't tricks, they're technological treats that are transforming robots from eerie to extraordinary. As technology advances, the line between machines and humans continues to blur in new and fascinating ways. At the University of Tokyo's Biohybrid Systems Laboratory, Professor Shoji Takauchi and his team have developed living skin for robots. This is a safe space, okay? The scientists used a combination of human skin cells called fibroblasts and keratinocytes to create living skin. They cultured these cells in a carefully prepared mixture of collagen and growth media, allowing the tissue to mature and form a structure similar to skin. The first experiment covered a robotic finger, but now they've taken a big step forward with their second experiment, applying the living skin to a 2D robotic face, using a combination of collagen and plasma treatments to bond the skin seamlessly to the robot's mechanical surface. And unlike chemical-based materials used to make skin, this living skin can actually self-heal. Relax. Takauchi believes that these human-like living skin robots could potentially be used for drug development, cosmetics research, and plastic surgeon training in the future. This time of year around Halloween often brings a fascination with the uncanny and lifelike. But that doesn't mean the uncanny and lifelike have to be scary. See? Conventional humanoid robots are built with motors and rigid metal joints, similar to those used on factory construction lines. This can be extremely expensive and dangerous to humans if these hulking robots were ever in a person's home. The idea is for a humanoid to hug you, not crush you with their weight. That's why researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems, along with the team at ETH Zurich, developed a robotic leg powered by electrohydraulic artificial muscles known as Hassels. This caused effective and lightweight invention was inspired by the 600 muscles in the human body and uses oil-filled bags allowing machines to move more like humans. When we activate these muscles, um, the so-called electrohydraulic actuator sips together, which means the electrodes come closer and push the oil uh, to the other side of the actuator. This leads to a contraction and thickening of the muscle, similar uh, to a human muscle. The robotic leg can jump across different terrains like grass, pebbles, and rocks in an agile and energy-efficient way. Currently, this simplistic leg can't move freely and is only able to jump in circles, so the idea of these artificial muscles being available to humanoid robots are still a ways away. Yet there's so much more future potential for this technology to be applied to wearable exoskeletons, prosthetics, and other robotic systems that require precise human-like movement. Dr. Kevin Lagranger, a professor at the New York Institute of Technology, has conducted research that found that people's fear of robots stems from being bombarded with negative messages about robots and AI for decades. But one thing is crystal clear, researchers and engineers are advancing technology, taking it to new heights, blazing trails with bold and boundary-breaking ideas. And if you enjoyed this week's Halloween-themed episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. You barely let me finish there. Happy Halloween from The Circuit News.